beautiful, aspirational, glamorous. Or too thin, too young, and not real women. I've seen girls who clearly have drug problems, and I saw girls eating almost nothing in order to stay a certain weight. This 19-year-old Swedish model went viral last year when she put a video online saying she couldn't get work because she was too big. According to the model industry, you cannot look like this. You need to be thinner. The modeling industry has long been scrutinized and change is happening. In December, France passed a law banning the use of excessively thin models. It joined Italy, Spain and Israel in legislating on underweight models. All the girls on my uh, catwalk have different body. The breast, the hips and the tight waist. Very woman, in fact. Rosie Nelson has been modelling for four years. Originally from Australia, she lives in London. A size eight, she says she was told to get thinner. I went into an agency in London about a year ago. They said, you have really good potential, we'd like to work with you, we just need you to get a bit skinnier. So I went away and I just like dieted really heavily. I cut out all sugar. I exercised crazy every day. At the end of it, after the four months of dieting, my ribs were sticking out, my bones were sticking out. I looked really ill and I went back to see them about four months later and they said, you're doing good, you're losing weight, we just want you to get down to the bone. When they said, you need to get down to the bone, I sort of just sat there thinking, like, I can't lose more weight than I have now. Like, I've, I've lost pretty much everything. I, I was skin and bone at that point. I started a petition on change.org just to raise awareness about it. Hundreds and hundreds of girls have messaged me saying they've had the same thing happen to them, they've been encouraged to become anorexic or bulimic, and they're encouraged to lose weight just for the modelling industry, and I just don't think it's fair. In December, Rosie took that petition to Parliament with Caroline Noakes MP. The same MP is leading a parliamentary inquiry that started in October. At the end of the month, we're told the inquiry will recommend that under-18s should be banned from the catwalk. Legislation is what would at a stroke, make sure that you weren't seeing 16 to 18 year olds with a BMI of 15.6 being told they had to lose weight. I think on the catwalk especially, under 18 is too young just because it does encourage kind of a boyish look, like a boy's body is quite straight. And women do have hips, most women do have hips, it's just how we naturally are. And having a girl that's underdeveloped and skinny, when they're modeling women's wear, they're not representing women. It was ultra skinny models that made this small British designer make their own rules for photo shoots. Well, our experience of professional models is that they just really don't eat. They tell us that they're under pressure to lose weight um, in order to secure more work. They tell us all sorts of, you know, sort of extremes that they go to, as an example, you know, eating tissues in order to stop their stomachs grumbling, all this sort of stuff. So it's just, we know they're hungry. But we had one particular model who'd come in for a test shoot and she was clearly hungry. She wouldn't eat. She became delirious. She was talking gibberish. She was clearly weak. She was having to, you know, hold on to something rather than just stand of her own free will. Uh, and we had to call, call it a day. We had to send her home. Heidi has added a clause to contracts for her models that says they have to eat when on a shoot. It is a bit nannying, telling women what to do. It is nannying to, to a degree, but really the demand for you know, how a model looks comes from the designer. So what we're saying is actually we're not going to be part of that demand. Have you been criticised? It's interesting because the views have been polarised. We either get a lot of encouragement or it's the diametric opposite. And what if the women don't want to eat with you? If they don't want to eat, then they won't sign the contract and they won't come to work with us. Should under-18s be banned from the catwalk? It's a positive move and it's good that this is being discussed at a high level, but over 50% of models start their careers between the age of 13 and 16. The industry is very likely to argue that they are being discriminated against because under-18s can work in other industries. I think it would be silly because I think you'd be missing a lot of talent unless 
The same thing was applied to ballerinas, athletes who have to perform at a certain level and be a certain level of fitness, have to eat a certain amount under 18. Should they be banned from competing? Where, where do we actually stop? Do you concede that there are problems, there are girls who make themselves ill, who feel undue pressure to be very small? Yes, I, I, I was a model very, very momentarily when I was a student and I saw girls eating almost nothing in order to stay a certain weight. I've seen girls who clearly have drug problems, clearly have had eating disorders, very few and far between, but that, you know, like in any industry, anywhere, one in a hundred people is going to have a problem. I think that it's the responsibility of the agencies or that, that girl's peer group or parents to um, keep an eye on them. No legislation can take the place of a parent. Does your decision mean you can't get the high-end brands? Yeah, there's definitely designers that would never book me because of my size. Very thin models concern many in and outside of the industry because of the health implications for the women and the message they send to those that admire them. A minimum body mass index had been suggested, but Rosie and others don't think that will work. You can stick numbers on anyone, but it doesn't represent their body type, how tall they are really, or like what their body looks like. It's just a few numbers. So. I have a very low BMI, but yet I'm still told that I'm too big for some jobs. So it doesn't really make sense to me to use a BMI scale to judge someone's health because it just doesn't represent it. The funny part with this is that my body mass index is 17,5. Like the body mass index you should have is like 19. And they still tell me that I'm too big. So what do you think needs to change to make the models that we see on the catwalk in magazines better represent us normal women? I think the big thing that needs to change is who the shows are for. In the old days, pre-digital, fashion shows are for the industry. Since the digital age, it's been First of all, it was blogs, then it was Instagram. Now, you know, you can see a show. I can watch any show I want without having to go near a catwalk. So brands have realised this, and Burberry was one of the first. I have a very strong suspicion when these shows start becoming more commonplace, you, uh, you and I will not want to see a 17-year-old size 6 model wearing those clothes. We all want to see a woman like us. This question is, is coming to an end of an era. Barbie, the doll, has um, been brought up to date for the 21st century because millennials just don't identify with her. If you, even if you look at the, the supermodels of now, the most popular models in the world are the ones with the biggest Instagram accounts, such as um, Kendall Jenner, for example, or Gigi Hadid, and they are, in inverted commas, normal. This inquiry followed the collapse of a voluntary code of conduct introduced a decade ago to keep young teens off the catwalk it didn't work. Models as young as 14 have walked at London Fashion Week. Next time, they may not be allowed.